Two more pieces of moonstone jingled in Kutaro's pocket as he put the wreckage of pig, sheep, and robo crab behind him. What new adventures await in Act 4? Missing out would be a waste. Now back to Kutaro's tale. Kutaro's journey led him westward to the moon's wild waste. General's bull and horse would be waiting of that the moon which had been plain. And speaking of plains, these were downright unwelcoming. Night never fell on the wild waste. Sunlight scorched the red earth and torched poor Kutaro as he battled the blistering wind. His wooden body crackled and snapped. He felt like a matchstick waiting to ignite. Soon he would go sunny side down. Kataro, straighten up. When Daddy gives people the look, he hates when you act all droopy. Now that they were on Route 66, it was bite the bullet or bite the big one. Kutaro felt the stare of unseen watchers, cacti who lacked eyes. Bleached skeletons with a bone to pick. Trees as petrified as he was. And disarmingly large monoliths. All were eager to add one perishable puppet to their ranks. Come on, wake up! You'll die if you don't keep moving. Kataro! Kataro! Hey, what's that? Kataro! It's a car! We got wheels! Yeah. Let's hit a ride! She yeah. doing the finishing line! Oh, dream on you, cow! I'll teach you to look at a resource in the mouth! Oy. Show me your moves, you dooby Jenny! Taxi! <laughs> oh my gosh, how rude! Wait a second. That was bull and horse! After them, Kataro! The two hot rodders had left the wild waste even wastier than before, carving a gruesome canyon deep in the earth and turning the cacti whacked up with one putrid blast of their dark exhaust. Well, shoot! So much for hitchhiking. Come on, hustle! You want to become cactus fertilizer? Head for higher ground! A cute little prairie dog was peeking out of his burrow, but don't be fooled. This bloodthirsty rodent was a trained killer and tax evader. So what? He's still cute. Animals need our TLC. If I recall correctly, all you gave the critters in the Moonwood were trauma, lacerations and contusions. Kutaro made his way up the canyon, desperate to elude the cacti. slabs of earth that began to tumble toward Kutaro. Domino! Ugh, it's always something. The 
explosion rocked the canyon, loosening huge slabs of earth that began to tumble toward Kutaro. Domino! Oh, it's always the case. Listen to you, young lady. Do you really think it's right to abandon your mission based on transient needs and impulses? Where is your sense of purpose? Where is your sense of ambition? Where is your sense of humor, okay? Would you just stay on the other side of the fourth wall, please? I am... And so our great hero blazed onward alone, by himself, Toto Solo, with no one else with him, least of all a pixel. Let's have a big round of applause for our lone wolf. What? Are you writing me out of the script now? Hey, careful you don't fall. The magic of the pirate's hook allowed Kutaro to reel in the whole rock face at once. Inside appear to be some sort of great Scott! And duck keep excavating! Well done! A dinosaur head in perfect condition. But where's the rest of the skeleton? Who cares about some lizard bones? Come on! Gold dust mixed in with the Sakutaro used Calibris to cut through the torrents of gravel, shrugging off the boulders that threatened to crush him. What new challenges are we? Our lone wolf blazed onward. He's not alone! I'm right here! Of course you are. It was just a figure of speech. More like a figure of doing it on purpose, jerk. Soundedly enough, this particular dinosaur fossil was lacking a head. What? Are you kidding? That's a dinosaur, not a monster! Hey! Wait for me! Don't I get a ride? Simply tremendous. So <laughs> that was so gross. It was only through a bizarre miracle that Kutaro and Tikarina escaped the dinosaur's belly. A bizarre miracle to end all bizarre miracles. I never want to be part of a bizarre miracle again. Where's he going? 
This one's in the bag. My bag, more like. You know, the only thing worse than bad guys trying to kill you is bad guys that won't give me the time of day. All that remain. Oh, it moved. The Moon Bear King's magic. Then this has to be. Within the skull was the soul of the wrestler, the last of the four champions of the moon. I don't believe it! Ladies and gentlemen, we have got a gate crasher! About time, Cooty Face! I thought you'd never find a wrestler's powers. I think you deserve a little reward. Come closer, child. Pots with a taunt. I smell a trap, folks. Now, stand on the box and body slam it. You can... There. You see how a handle popped out? You can use that to push or pull things. Now... No, 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 they can't see their leading lady. That's better. Kabam! Nice ring, isn't it? <laughs> but just a little cramped. Now, step aside. Here comes the Asma Witch Drop. So, you want to learn a special move? Just get up really high before you slam to put some real oomph in it. Now, aim for me. I can take it. Luna Cactosa! Take a good look at the symbol in the ring. No! Take it easy! That really hurts! <laughs> you can't even touch me! I win! <laughs> The General's rampageous rivalry had reduced this small town smack in the middle of the waste to absolute shambles. But a new vaquero had moseyed into town. My gosh, the insurance claims. Kataro, can you fix up the buildings? Otherwise, we can't get down the street. Grubs were waiting for Kutaro the moment he slipped in through the saloon's second-story window. Bull and horseplay was shaking up the buildings along the road, not to mention the good folk inside. The nerve of those two! Hey, are they in detention? Ugh, oh, I hate detention. Oh, let's bring them. Looks like a 
regular slam won't break it. Super slam the jail! <laughs> Free at last! There's still one more. What's the holdup? Wait! Don't put that one back yet. There's an order to these things. the road. Hope you've got a bright idea. What? Are you taking their horse feed? What? 
gets in there. You stupid cud sucker! Again, Bull and Horse had eluded Kutaro on the outskirts of town, and taking their place was a twin revolver touting gunslinger who looked eager for a duel at high noon. decided to step up his game. Slinger properly wrangled and mangled, our hero continued his search for the general. locked with our heroes. The air was so heavy with foreboding, you could cut it with a knife. So, Moose Face! Kiss my chicken fly! Please! I can run circles around you eight days a week! 